Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a look at the Rough Rider Classic Carbon 2 Scout Knife, model number RR2215. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks. So here we have the Rough Rider Scout Knife. Now this knife is part of the Rough Rider Classic Carbon 2 series that features mirror polished T10 carbon steel blades. And this is actually like a Swiss Army knife with multiple tools. And I think it's got a very nice packaging. I've got several Rough Rider knives that I've acquired recently and they all come in different styles of packaging. And this is definitely, I think, the most exquisite and also just feels a bit quality. I think this makes a great gift knife as well. So let's open up the box and have a look. And here we have the knife. Now what drew me to the knife is really the classic look, but it's also got that multifunctional tool. And probably because of the name as well, like a scout knife. And this is something that I think that I would have loved as a kid when I was a scout, kind of a camping, hiking, scouting knife. And overall, it just feels good, fit and finish is good. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a hefty blade. So as a kid, I'm not sure if this would be too heavy. And it's also really thick. Um, let's just quickly see how thick that is. So that's 0 0.75 inches and that's almost uh, 2 millimeters or 19 millimeters. So that is actually pretty thick compared to, let's say, a Swiss Army knife with the same number of tools. But you just have to love that heft uh, and the feel of the knife. So this Rough Rider Classic uh, has several tools. So there is a sheep's foot style blade. That's a mirror finish and this is slip joint so there are no uh, locking mechanisms. It just is held in place by the back spring and there's a half stop as well. Uh, finger nick to open up the blade. There are two tools over here which is the can opener, a very aggressive looking one. And then you have a cap lifter as well as a screwdriver, very nice and large uh, compared to the Swiss Army knife. That's very nice and long. And finally, you have one more tool, and this is a reamer. Now, some people may call this uh, an owl, uh, but really, the terms are used interchangeably, but technically, they're different tools. The awl is used for punching and drilling holes, and the reamer is used for drilling and enlarging holes. So, just based on this point, I would say that this is more of a reamer, and that's what it's described. Now, for the Swiss Army knife, I think it's kind of a combo tool, because you can definitely punch a hole. It's, it's much sharper at the point. All right, before we go into specifications, maybe let's just do some comparisons with some other knives. Uh, I would say that might be considered similar. I think when I think of this and I compare it to a Victorinox Swiss Army knife, I'll think of the Alox Pioneer. Very similar tool set. I don't have the Pioneer, but I do have the Cadet. It's going to be roughly the same size. You can see how much thinner that is. I think uh, from a practical standpoint, at least for a Cub Scout, uh, this would probably be a uh, better choice. Easier to open as well. But of course, it is also smaller as you can see, uh, at least in terms of the blade stock. The length is about the same. I've got another knife over here. This is a British Army knife. And this is uh, what we call in Singapore a jack knife. So that looks like that. Uh, I would say the size is similar. Now this has a similar two set, well only actually two tools. Uh, this has that sheep's foot style blade and it's got the can opener. And the can opener is also quite aggressive as you can see. Now let's see what else we have. Let's compare it with the Buck Stockman. Now Stockman is not a multi-tool, but it does have three blades. So just to give that comparison, let's put that here and you can see uh, it is longer than the Scout knife and the Cadet Alox, but kind of in that similar style as well. And finally, as usual, an Altoid tin. Let's talk about the specifications of this Rough Rider Scout knife. The blade length is 2.5 inches, but the advertised length is 2.25 inches, and that refers to the cutting edge. The closed length is 3.5 inches, and the overall length is 6 inches. The weight of this is 4 ounces or 114 grams. The blade thickness is 0 0.6 inches. The blade style is spear point, it's got a mirror finish and a plain edge. Now the blade steel is T10 steel. T10 is a high speed tool steel made of carbon and tungsten. The T in its name stands for tungsten. 
while the 10 stands for carbon content, which is at 1%. T10 carbon is tungsten based and that is why it's categorized as a high speed steel. Now this makes it very effective in making cutting tools because high speed steels exhibit excellent strength, heat resistance and durability. They make katanas out of this steel so it's really good. It's similar to 1095 carbon steel but the tungsten makes it slightly harder. The handles are black micarta with blue underliners. That's quite pretty actually. There are brass liners and nickel silver pins. So no rivets, you can't take this apart. The bolsters are embossed nickel. And you can see the Rough Rider logo over there. So very nice, just bolsters on all sides. And this is a canoe shaped body and very nice shield as well. Let's hope that focuses in. And that shield is made of pewter. So overall, a very handsome and pretty knife. Now, does this make for a good EDC or maybe a camping knife? Well, let's uh, break this down. Let's talk about the price first. So this has varying prices. I've seen different prices across uh, websites. I guess it also depends on the country. But I paid US $24 for this, excluding shipping. My total price would have been about US $30. So... I think it's a fair price. I've seen it at 30 euros, uh, 39 euros as well. Uh, so I've seen, you know, different prices. But let's say at a 24 US dollar price point, I think it's fair. I think the fit and finish is very good. And if you like a traditional design and with this multi-tool feature, I think uh, this will work very well. This, you know, you can use this bail hook to hang it from a belt. You could put it in your pocket. I would say just, just at the threshold of being too heavy for me and too large, uh, but you could uh, definitely carry this, especially if you like heavier knives. Uh, I see this more as an outdoor knife as opposed to an EDC. For EDC, I do prefer thinner knives, uh, something that I feel is more carryable. Uh, but definitely as an outdoor knife, as a camping knife, I think this would work uh, very well. I mean, it's definitely reminiscent of a Swiss army knife, but you get that hefty feel. And I guess if you do like uh, traditional knives, you'd really like this. Uh, because as I mentioned, fit and finish is very good and you've got all the accents uh, that you'd like to find in a good quality traditional knife. Now, bear in mind, this is made in China, but as I've talked about this in a previous video, you know, you get great quality knives, great fit and finish and good steels from China as well, as long as there's good quality control. So it just doesn't mean it's bad if it's made from China. And in terms of Rough Rider, all the knives are made in China and I think they do have decent quality control. Obviously, you do get your occasional you know, complaints about some quality issues, but that happens even with knives from any part of the world. But this knife that I've gotten, I think it's a really nice knife uh, and it feels good in the hand. And I was actually very happy with the pull. Uh, it's not too stiff. My experience with a lot of traditional slip joint knives, uh, they tend to be very hard. Or maybe it's just my experience uh, with the really old knives and a lot of the modern made traditional knives have a very comfortable uh, pull on it. It's still a bit tough, I think, for kids. So especially this one here is a bit stiffer. The back spring, spring is really uh, stiff, so you need to dig your fingernail in. For a kid, this might be a bit too hard. You can see that's that's got good tension on it. So. Overall, I think this is a great knife. If you're looking for a scout knife or a multi-tool for camping and you like the traditional knife, I think this definitely fits the bill. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Rough Rider Scout Knife in this Carbon Series 2. If you have this knife and if you've got some thoughts on it or if you've got alternatives which you think are even better, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep it forwarded, keep it safe.